guys, today I'm going to be doing a quick get ready with me. Yeah, so I've just got a little Alice band. Let me put that on. And um, primer wise, I'm going to start off with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I'm just going to spray this all over my face. Let that dry. Next, I'm going to go in with the Benefit Professional Matte Rescue on top. I find that the primer water and this together just makes my makeup last so much longer and it goes on much, much nicer. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take a little bit and kind of concentrate it in the areas I get really oily. So like here, on my nose, forehead and chin. Also, I just wanted to say I have been using a new moisturiser. I've been using the Nivea Daily Essentials Light Moisturising Day Cream. So I did put this on before I started and I actually quite like this to wear under makeup. It's fairly um, non-greasy and it kind of you know sets in pretty quickly into your skin so I started off with that and put that on about 20 minutes before I started filming. So recently I've been kind of changing it up a little bit going between putting concealer on first and foundation on first so today I'm going to go with foundation first. I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Paulus, which is my absolute favourite foundation at the moment. I've been loving this to death. Oh I'm actually going to put some lip balm on quickly. Uh, should I put it on before or after? I'll put it on after in case I get any foundation on my lips. So yeah, it's really liquidy, so I kind of just shake it up first. Um, and update, the lid is so messy, it leaks so bad into the lid. It doesn't leak like outside the lid, but within the lid it leaks really badly. So you don't even really have to squeeze it because there's always some like on the end of the um, thing. So I really hate this packaging. I know a lot of people said that they like it because you can get more out. Personally, and you know, it doesn't, it's not as heavy and stuff, but personally, I don't tend to like carry foundations around with me during the day for touch ups or anything. And I mean, like, if I'm traveling, I probably won't even take that whole bottle anyway. I'll probably like put a little bit into another, um, like, little tub or something. And I'm taking the Body Shop Lightning Drops just to lighten this up a little bit, um, because it's still like a tad too dark for me. And I'd probably be alright with it, but just, just out of habit, I've been doing it now. So, yeah. I just tend to put like a little bit on on one side and then buff it in because I find if you leave it too long it does set fairly quickly. So I'm going to buff it in with the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Okay, so now I'm going to do concealer and at the moment I'm really between the Fit Me Concealer and the Maybelline, uh, what is it called, the Instant Age Rewind one, though, these two, and I don't know which one to use. They're pretty much the same shade as well. Um, I'm going to use the Fit Me because I think it's a slightly higher coverage and I'm going to again mix it with a little bit of the white drops because this is like a good like um, concealer to conceal like spots and stuff but under my eyes it's a little bit too dark so I'm going to just put a blob, this is what I actually do like whenever I use this, I put a blob under each eye. This is probably really bad and this is probably the reason I get bad creasing so please tell me if you think it is and I get a little bit of the whitening stuff on my finger. And I'll just like put a little blob of that next to it, like so, and um, I need a bit more on that eye I think. And yeah, I'll just like mix it together as I'm blending, and I'm using a really, I never use this finger to blend, this feels really odd. And I'll just kind of do that, I'll just sort of like blend it out mostly with my finger, and then I will get the brush and blend it out, because I hate blending with fingers. Ugh. Probably maybe, like my brightness is a bit odd on here, it's not quite, it makes me look really really pale, I might have to turn it down. Um, I think that was still maybe a little bit too dark for under my eyes, but we're going to roll with it. So now I'm going to set everything, because everyone on my last video said, not everyone, a couple of people said I need to set my makeup really really quickly once I've done it. And I've actually got a new powder, I got this from NYX the other day because I discovered that my local boots, well my sort of local one, like my local big boots, has now got a NYX counter, so I picked up this... Um, HD finishing powder in the shade Banana and um, I've never had a yellow powder before but I've really wanted one for ages so I'm going to take the uh, Real Technique setting brush with this Banana powder and set my under eyes because I think this will really brighten them and help with dark circles as well because yellow conceals like dark, <laughs> dark blue isn't it or something like that I don't know. So I'm going to pack that on under there. Okay, I can hear someone mowing their lawn and it is literally raining. What? I don't, I, no words. So yeah, under eyes are set. And now I'm going to take a bigger fluffy brush and Maybelline Fit Me Powder. Because I am totally obsessed with the Fit Me range at the moment. I actually, um, I have it in shade 120 and my friend Bella has it in shade either 120. 
5 or one thirty or something and we were like there is no way like she's like very olive toned and I was like there's no way we could have like one shade apart in powders and we got them out and they were so different in shade I think maybe she was one thirty because now I think about it I think they go up in five so there's probably a one twenty five and then a one thirty we couldn't believe it we were like so so much darker voila so powdering done I am now going to bronze I'm going to use, oh, what am I going to use? I'm going to use this bourgeois chocolate bronzer, um, like this, my one. There's like some oil or something that's gotten in the middle of it, so it only really works around the edges, like the middle of it's not wearing away very well. So you kind of have to really get your brush in there to get some. And I'm just going to just give myself a bit of a overall bronze. It makes such a difference bronzing one face and not the other. I'm not sure quite how well it's coming across on camera but I've got like one face that looks really glowy and healthy and the other side just looks like a pancake I think you can see <laughs> it's quite funny oh I haven't put any lip balm on need to do that in a second oh dear we've got a we've got a brown mark there blend like crazy so when you are watching this I will be going on holiday imminently I am so excited like I cannot begin to explain my excitement it's just Urgh! I've never been on holiday, like it's Matt and I going by ourselves, I've never been on holiday by myself like without my parents so I think it's going to be really odd but it's going to be so cool. Now blush, I'm going to use this Freedom um, Pro Blush Palette with the Real Techniques Blush Brush which is actually the best blush brush I have ever seen in my life. I don't know why, like, I don't know why I never tried this and then as soon as I did I was obsessed with it. And which colour am I feeling? I want to have a bit of a something something today I think I'm going to use this one up here it's a little bit shimmery this like pinky one um it's a bit peachier than oh my that's crazy okay the colour payoff of these blushes is slightly mental so we're going to get a tissue and we're just going to like dab some of that off because I don't want to have really orange cheeks and I'm just going to try and apply it lightly okay, that is like for filming okay but like I probably wouldn't go out with this much blush on. I think I look slightly mental. I'm just gonna get my powder brush and just kind of buff a little bit and try and tone it down. Whew. Okay, so looks like we've got very rosy cheeks today. It's not even like rosy, it's like, did I use different? Nope, I thought I'd used two different blushes then on one on each cheek. So yeah, blush is done. Have I got a highlight I can use? I didn't get one out. So we're gonna make do. We are gonna find a shimmery shade in one of the palettes I have in front of me. Um, does this one have something I can use? Oh, I know what I was gonna use. I was gonna use the one in that palette. Where did I put it? There is like a very, I think it's very pinky, so I'm not really sure. But I now can't open the palette. Really pinky, I don't think I, no, nope, I'm using it. So I'm just gonna use this top like highlighty shade very lightly. Because, like I said, it's quite pinky, but I think we can pull it off. It's very pretty. So, yes. Woohoo! Highlights on. Oh, nose. And Cupid's bow. God, this, vlog, this video is going way too long. I need to speed up. Okay, so. The base is done. Now we're going to start thinking about eyes and lips. So I'm going to zoom you in. Okay, so I'm just going to comb through the eyebrows. I think I'm going to do my brows first. So why not? I'm gonna use this Freedom Brow Promade in the shade Blonde. I actually found this in the like sale bin in Superdrug because the packaging had been wrecked and I think it'd been like opened but I just like wiped the top layer and like got rid of it so I don't really care. Um, yeah it just looks like this. It's kind of sort of the right shade. It's not the exact right shade for my brows. I'm trying to like stay in focus. It's so hard when you're so zoomed in. Um, it's not quite the right shade, but it's kind of good enough. Um, I only wanted to try it out. It was like 250 instead of five pounds or something. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to give it a go and just see if I like the formula. And I do really like it, but I don't do this like every single day because it's like, who has time to do this? Okay, so it goes one of two ways. Normally, like, one of them will look really good and one of them will be really bad. I think this one's not so good today, so this one hopefully will go good. I don't put too much on the brush either because I don't want it to be really, really harsh. I just want to, like, kind of, you know, sort of fill them a little bit. Okay, my eyebrows are now incredibly dark. 
and I have way too much product in them. Can we salvage? Can we salvage? Okay, a little bit darker than intended, but I think we can pull it off if I do like some good eye makeup. <laughs> Starting off with lid primer, Smashbox photo finish lid primer. Just a little bit on both eyes. Love this stuff. It's amazing. I haven't used a different eye primer in about two years. So, there you go. Also, guys, I'm weekly vlogging at the moment. How cool is that? I decided to just do like a one off week, just vlog it, see how it goes. And I'm putting it on this channel, so you should have, it'll be with, with you within the next few days. Um, yeah, I'm going to use this palette by Revol Makeup Revolution. It will be linked below. Um, yeah, so I just decided to do like a random like weekly vlog thing because I really love vlogging and I don't do it very often. So I'm just going to use a plain like shader brush with soft, just a neutral kind of colour. So I got a new brush from NYX and I'm going to use that and the brush from the palette has just fallen out onto me. It's just like a plain black crease brush. I haven't washed it, probably should have washed it, but I don't really care. Um, I'm washing all my brushes tonight for my holiday. So yeah, I'm going to take Buffer, which is like a nice kind of marly pinky colour and I'm just going to put that through the crease, see how this brush is. Oh, it's very soft. I like it already. Number 17, brush wise, by the way. And it was £8.50, which I thought was a bit of a bargain. Although, like, it's kind of expensive for, like, one brush. But really, like, thinking about it in terms of, like, Sigma and stuff, I'd pay, like, £15 for one of their brushes. So, yeah, just stuck that through the crease. It looks lovely, I think. Um, now I'm going to take just, like, a plain, like, kind of fluffy shader brush thing. I'm going to, ooh, what do I want to do? This is the point where I have to like decide what kind of a look I'm going for. I'm gonna go for kind of rose goldy pinky prettiness. So I'm gonna take, which shade is this? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, five. Super gold, which is like a um, mineralized, this one here, goldy pinky sort of shade. And I'm just gonna put that on the outer corner, outer half. Let's face it, my my looks are always very, kind of, just go with it. So we're going to start with that being there. It's very shimmery. There's some probably, I think there's some like decent chunks of glitter in here. So if you've got sensitive eyes, might not be the best one for you. And I'm just going to take some more of that um, buffer shade, just to kind of go over it. Because I went a bit crazy with that one in the crease. Just want to keep that crease nice and matte. Um, ba, 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 ba. like so it looks so much more pink in like on the camera than it does in real life so we're gonna go forward and I've got like another fluffy brush from Real Techniques this is the base shadow brush and I'm gonna take Glimmer which is like a very kind of neutral golden-y slightly pinky toned colour just to put in my inner corner so I've already run out of memory on an 8 gig memory card that was completely clear this morning so this video is already about 20 minutes long and so we're gonna have to do a lot of editing on it so yeah I just put that kind of like blended it through so it was just kind of something else I'm just gonna like kind of buff it out and just leave it at this I quite like it it's quite kind of simple um a little bit pinky just a little something because I'm doing lots of different videos so I don't really want to have like one really bold makeup look and I've just realized I've got clean hair so now my hair is gonna be like in the shape of the Alice band, which is always great. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do that. I am going to put some mascara on. I'm using Max Factor Full Slash Effect, but the voluptuous one, as I've said a couple of times. I like it, don't love it. I think it's no better than the original. I've just got mascara on my eye. Great. Right, so now I've got to try and get this mascara off. I'm just gonna wipe, I'm just gonna wipe. Nope, it's not coming off. Uh. Any makeup artists, if you're watching this, I'm really sorry. Probably having like a fit at me right now. Right, and then I'm just gonna kind of cover it with whatever's left on this brush. So yeah, that is the kind of bases. I'm gonna put a little bit of lipstick on. This is from the Revlon Ultra HD lipstick and the shade Rose 830. Just a really pretty kind of 
pinky colour. I never even put any lip balm on, oh well. So yeah, this lipstick's really moisturising anyway, so I think it'll be fine. So yeah, that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. I tend to just watch Get Ready With Me's, it's just like, I just like listen to them. I really like hearing people just like chatting about makeup. So I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope I managed to edit it down to a decent amount of time. Is there anything here that I'm supposed to have used in this video? Don't think so. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!